Hi, my name is Jovan Tomasovic and I'm a student at the UTS Animal Logic Academy. Today, you'll be learning how to create high quality motion capture with the affordable software Breckle. This software allows anybody to record motion capture as it doesn't require any sort of suit or tracking markers and just uses the Kinect sensor as seen just there and there. To create this motion capture, there's a few things we'll need. The first, of course, is the Breckle software. I'll be using the Breckle Body version 2, which is the most stable and up-to-date release version of the Breckle software. There is a version 3 out, but it's in beta at the moment, so I'd recommend just sticking with version 2 at the moment. You can use the free trial or you can request an evaluation license, which usually your results come back for that in about a day or so. So if you email through today, you should get it about tomorrow. And this gives you the full power and potential of the Breckle software with no limitations. But you get that for a shorter amount of time than the trial version. After using the trial or evaluation software, you can then decide whether you want to buy it or not. I would recommend for this tutorial, use the evaluation license first because it does give you the full breadth of the software. Next, you'll also need an Xbox Connect version too. Now, these are quite hard to come by, but if you do find them, snap them up quickly because there's limited supply since being discontinued. I've got the Connect sensor itself for about 20 bucks, and you'll also need a Windows to Connect hub. So that is about 40 bucks at the moment, and they're even harder to find. So overall, I spent about $60 on these. I mean, it's the best price that I could find. I haven't been able to see much better online, and if you do, pull the trigger on it. It may not have worked great for the Xbox, but it works surprisingly well for this kind of motion capture that we'll be doing. For the retargeting, I would recommend using Blender as it's free and is really, really good to use and there's a bunch of plugins you can use for it and the cleanup process is incredibly easy as well. You'll also need a plugin called Rococo to Blender. Rococo is another company that creates motion capture software, but for that you require like a suit usually. However, with their plugin, it allows you to do very easy retargeting and works with this Breckle skeleton and it's the best and easiest and most reliable software that I've found for retargeting so far. Using Breckle, you also do have the option to live stream into Unreal. I've made a video actually about live streaming motion capture into Unreal using a few different softwares, which you can check just in the video up here, but I'll also be showing how to use it at the end of this video here. So if you want to see the compare and contrast, click on that one. Hey, so just a quick note from editing, the Unreal Engine part of this tutorial will actually be coming out next week, not at the end of this video, sorry about that. There will be links to everything in the description below and I do have timestamps in case you need to jump forwards or backwards in the video. To begin, install and open the Breckle Body version 2 software. Then connect the Kinect sensor to your computer and you should see your Kinect sensor come up here. Sometimes it doesn't always register your Kinect sensor, so you might just have to close the Breckle software and reopen it, and it will eventually come up. You might also need to install some drivers, which they do give you an option for when you install the Breckle software. Now, ensure that Auto Align is on. This will ensure that your Kinect is aligned with the floor, so there shouldn't be too much clipping later on when you take it into Blender. And then adjust your skeleton smoothing. I leave mine at about 2.9, as it can come out a little bit jittery if you use lower options, but you can play around with this at your own discretion. Then choose if you want to be tracking your fingers or not. I always leave it on because it sometimes gives you some good results. It is a little bit temperamental, but when it works, it works great. And if it doesn't, you can always just do in the cleanup method in Blender, you can just delete the actual animations on your hands and just kind of keep them closed the whole time. I would recommend using your finger tracking, but it's up to you whether you want to be able to take that extra step or not. Then choose your 3D output format. I choose mine as the 2018 FBX, as it's the most recent version that's available. And then choose where you want your recording saved. Now, all you have to do is press record. You can set a starting delay as well if you just want to make the cleanup process that little bit easier. And it helps if you are recording in your own. I usually do that so I can get into position, but it's up to you whether you want to do this or not. Then stand in front of your Kinect sensor, click start recording in your Breckle software and make your movements. And then once you're done, hit stop recording and that's the majority of this process done. Now, open Blender and install the Rococo to Blender plugin. To do this, go into Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then Install, and then choose the zip file for your Rococo to Blender plugin. Then tick it as enabled. If it does come up with an error message, you're probably using an unsupported version of Blender. I found that 2.93 doesn't work, but 2.92 does. So just use that version if you still have it. And if not, I'll leave links in the description on how to install the older version of Blender. Then import your mocap data and import a pre-read character, preferably in a T-pose. You can find a bunch of characters on Mixamo if you want. I'll be using some of those for this demonstration, but you can also use whatever character you want with whatever skeleton you want as you'll be doing the retargeting yourself. Make sure if you do use a Mixamo character that you set them in a T-pose and you download them like that because you don't want any pre-recorded animations on it as that just makes it a little bit more difficult. Now, press the N key on your key Keyboard and select the Rococo tab on your right hand side. Then choose retargeting and set your source and your target character. Your source is your Breckle data and your target is the target character that you want all the animations to be applied onto. Then press build bone list. It should automatically map a bunch of the bones together, but if it does get any wrong or if there are any missing, you can then manually go through and change those yourself. Also, if there are extra bones that don't exist, you can just ignore them. It should still work out fine as it kind of estimates what needs to go where. Once you finish this, choose retarget animation and you're done. If there are drastically different sizes in your characters, you can turn off auto scale, but I usually leave it on. There is also a rest or current position. I always leave it on in rest because that seems to work better. And that's it. You've just recorded your own motion capture and applied it onto a pre-read character for pretty cheap with mostly free software. Now you can do a clean 
scan out process if you want. Usually I do this because it sometimes does come through a little bit jittery. To do this, just open up the graph tab in Blender, select all your bones, go into pose mode, and then just smooth out the keyframes. To do this, just press Alt-O, and each time you do it, it will smooth a little bit more. If there are any bones that are acting really strange and like jumping in positions they shouldn't be, go down into keyframe timeline, find where the bone is happening and delete those keyframes. You can usually just rotate the bone into what looks good just in the middle of these deleted keyframes and it should work fine. And then when you continue to smooth it out, it'll work perfectly. I hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week when I show you how to create live facial capture straight into Unreal.